It's Monday, July 19th, 2021. I'm Jonathan Lau, and this is 5 Minutes of Proof, a weekly analysis of the science behind ozone therapy. So today we're going to take a look at an article that comes from Brazil, the Journal of Veterinary Dentistry. Uh, this is an area of interest to me and I think to many veterinarians as well of ozone therapy for dentistry. So the title of this article is Ozone Therapy and the Prevention of Dental Plaque Formation in Dogs. Um, as they say in the abstract, this study aims to assess ozonized mineral oil ointment application as an anti-plaque therapy for dogs. And uh, later on, they say both analysis revealed significant statistical association between daily application of ozone and anti-plaque effect. These results suggest that ozone therapy may be an efficient adjuvant to conventional periodontal treatment in decreasing initial dental plaque formation. Uh, so I just want to state here for the record that I use a, a it's called dental paste. It's an ozonized uh, toothpaste pretty much every day. And I personally swear by it. So I think this is a really good um uh, area to be using ozone uh, for mouth health on a general regular basis. Um, let's continue on. In the introduction, it says ozone therapy is previously described in the prevention, control, and treatment of periodontitis, as well as oral infections due to its biocompatibility with epithelial and periodontal mucus cells. Researchers refer to its effective use in dental procedures, considering its antimicrobial detoxification, anti-inflammation, analgesic, new vascularizing, and immune stimulating action. So there's a lot going on there. Obviously, we, we already know this about ozone therapy. So here's a picture of uh, applying it. Ointment is applied in the immediate post-operative period with complete coverage of dental and gingival surfaces. So in this particular study. Um, they, they did the study for seven days uh, uh, and uh, applied once a day this uh, ozone ointment to the teeth. For both plaque evaluation methods, the ozone ointment application every 24 hours, uh, there they just said it, <laughs> reported a lower plaque formation in relation to its non-use. So that's the ozone group. And they also had a control group. So you can go through and see some of the pictures, some of the plaque formations and, and the lack of it later on, day seven. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty cool graphic right there. Um, and then you have a chart here that shows the decrease in ging uh, gingival, um, let's see, what they, what they call it because I want to be scientific and, and precise. But uh, the dental plaque index values at day seven over here for the O3 group and day seven for the control group, you can see. Um, so let's see. Let's keep going down. And finally, at the end, and this is a short, short study, um, but I think it's, again, it's vital. It's, it's a great area we need to be using um, in lots of different ways. So maybe ozonated saline, maybe ozonated oils, uh, maybe injections of ozone gas, um, there's lots of different ways we can use it, but they find, say this uh, towards the end here. Clinical gingival evaluation showed a significantly lower gingivitis score in O3G, that's the ozone group, at day 7, D7. It may suggest that ozone antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory effects were able to locally control inflammation. So there you have it from Brazil. Thank you, Brazil, for all the work you're doing in ozone therapy. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next week with another installment of 5 Minutes of Proof. <laughs>